summarize the bullshit of cervical cancer screening. I mean, that's a long discussion. You want all the management for all the different uh, types of uh, pap smear stuff, colposcopy and biopsies and cone biopsies and all that stuff. I would say the highest yield point on 2CK3 regarding that stuff is just that you don't do it before 21. That's the high yield point. You might have like a 16 year old girl who had, who got like, who she's sexually active and then they'll, they'll want like gonococcus chlamydia screening. Like you still do that in someone who's sexually active under 21, but you don't commence pap smears under 21. And you also don't do HPV testing in the twenties. So 21 to 29, you do every three years no HPV testing. And then at age 30 upward, they start with HPV co-testing. It's every five years and you can stop at age 64 pap smears. That's like, that's the highest yield stuff. And HIV is every year. HIV is at the time of diagnosis and annually, not every three years to five years, every year in HIV. Cone biopsy shows up once on a, an OBGYN form. It's the answer when they do a colposcopy and biopsy, and they will say the entire squamo columnar junction cannot be visualized. So cone biopsy shows up once.